guy goes into the doctor's and says, Dr. Doctor, doctor, I've got strawberries growing in my ass. What can you do? He's just like, oh, I've got some cream for that. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would describe my sense of humour as a bit dry, bit dark, bit perverse. Next to grace the floor of the first date's restaurant with her elegance and style is North Shore bartender, Anna. I used to do belly dancing when I was like nine years old. Which isn't really a children's dance, but I just took to it like a duck takes to water. I'll take you through to the bar and grab sure. a drink before your uh, date arrives. Excellent, thank you so much. Cool, follow me. Cheers. I would have to say the biggest misconception people have of me is that I'm maybe a bit of a princess or a bit posh. Thank you so much. But really, I love to go fishing. I would love to go camping. I think I'm going to try the Sour Queen. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I would say I'm looking for a guy that's quite strong mentally and physically. Oh, my goodness, that's beautiful. Mm. He has to have really nice eyes. I'm an eye person, so, yeah, blue, brown, doesn't matter, has to just be gorgeous. <laughs> Would be amazing, yeah. Hoping to provide the eye candy for Anna tonight is care coordinator, Jamie. I've had a total of three blind dates. Two of them were mortifying, and one of them was okay. And then we went on a second date, and I put the nail in the coffin, really. Good evening, sir. How are you? Very good, yourself? Good shot. Yeah, the type of woman I'm looking for, um, brunette, green or blue eyes. But also quite a confident and funny person, someone who has a sense of humour, because I've got a pretty uh, dark sense of humour. Hi. Hi, good thanks. How are you? Hi, I'm Anna. Good nice you. to meet you. You too. Would you like a, to join me? Absolutely. Excellent. Just move my Cheers, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good day. Hey. Been up to much today? Or? Um, yeah, I've been up to not much actually. <laughs> <laughs> been relaxing, yeah. Oh, she is hot. Definitely uh, up there on the, on the scale. Ah, uh, yeah, just doing some prep work for our under 17 national basketball tournament we got coming up. So, oh, wow, excellent. Yeah. Do that in my spare time. Okay. So, play twice a week as well, so. Oh, wow, you've certainly got the height for it. Yes. Yeah. So, how tall are you? Um, six foot four. <laughs> people often go, oh, are you a basketball player? And I tell them, no, I'm actually a jockey. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Of course, they believe you as well. <laughs> I've only got dad jokes that I can say. People say I'm a mushroom because I'm a fun guy. So I work in the health industry, so I'm going to help people who are in, in need. My strategy on a date... Oh, OK. So... I'm probably more verbal. Yeah. Yeah, but a bit of body language. Yeah, you might see me flicking my hair, maybe. But... Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm the only guy that works in my office. Oh, right. Yes. OK. So sharing an office with the 14, 15 other women <laughs> is quite challenging. Power to you. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> One thing that intrigued me about Switzerland was sorting through the town. Did you try any ribs wrapped in chocolate? No, <laughs> but I found <laughs> something. I found something was big and chocolatey and quite partial to. And uh, okay. the worst thing that could happen on a first date: him making some really inappropriate joke, perhaps. And uh, I like Toblerones. Do you like? Yes, I love. Mm. So normally they're about yay big, where you get the duty free one, but I saw one that was like this long. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I would describe my sense of humour as a bit dry, a bit dark, a bit perverse, but generally pretty good. Guy goes into the doctor's and says, Doctor, doctor, I've got strawberries growing in my ass. What can you do? And he's just like, Oh, I've got some cream for that. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah. I would describe my sense of humour as a bit dry, a bit dark, a bit perverse. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking
looking to do a body transformation soon, like strip off some some extra weight and okay. build up some muscle and yeah. Oh, I could probably help you out at the gym, maybe. <laughs> Quite possibly. Basketball is pretty heavy on the body. Definitely, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Got some pounding that your hips and your knees and your ankles take. Oh, it's all right. But, yeah. You look quite dapper. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. You're certainly uh, you're a lot, you're looking a lot better than I am today. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Best thing about Anna was her eyes, nice sort of blue eyes, and then it was backed up with sort of her bubbly, eccentric character. You got any siblings or? No, I'm an only child. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a younger sister. How old is she? Uh, she is 30. So, how old are you? I'm uh, 32. 32? Yeah. OK. I've got a niece and I'm expecting a nephew oh. a bit later this year. So. Oh, congratulations. So a double up on the Uncle Judy's. Yes. And how, how are the Uncle Judy's going? Oh, they go all right. Do you get called for babysitting Judy or anything like that? Occasionally, I do. Occasionally. I loved how he talked about being an uncle. I'm very family orientated, so that pulled on my heartstrings definitely. Oh wow. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> having I don't having know. kids. I don't have kids, but it's like a You don't have any children? None that I know of. It's a joke with my friends, apparently. <laughs> um, it's like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a very expensive hobby. Uh, I'd like to have maybe a couple of kids own my own house and have my own Holden V8. That's really all I want in life. See, that's what I'm looking forward to when I find someone stupid enough to impregnate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is, you know, just doing the sports trips and so forth and, mm. you know. Yeah, he's just so sweet, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Salmon is perfect. My lips feel a bit oily now, but, um, no, they're all right. <laughs> Do I have any, like, watercress in my teeth now? No, then? you don't. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. So rude. Okay, that's better. Got a little, like... a little bit of microgreen in the... Oh, do I? Yeah, right there. Wait, I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. I just noticed it and I thought I'd better tell you. <laughs> you only tell me now. I'm probably sitting here. I just noticed here. it now. I'm still busy looking at your eyes. Oh, my goodness. Looking into my eyes. Good save. Good save. I'll be back. All right. Oh, it's my souvia. Excellent. Hey. How's your evening going? Interesting. What about yourself? How's the day going? Um, it's going really well, I think. He's not really someone I would usually go for, I think, but he's really, really nice. Are you interested in him? Um, do I want to go out on another date with Jamie? Ooh. <laughs> Actually, poten yeah, potentially. I don't know. I'm a bit shit when it comes to reading body language. I'm a bit inept that way, but I guess time will tell. But all my friends would definitely tell me I'd be punching if I was, if I was fortunate enough to uh, be with Anna. I definitely would go on a second date with her, should she allow it. There's the bill for this evening, guys. Cheers, thank you very much. Thanks. Do you want to go? 50 50. Well. I may as well just go the whole way. You know. Are you sure? Yeah, no, you've been a very pleasant date this evening. So. Such a gentleman. Oh, nice. Yeah. OK. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. <laughs> Oops. My bag got hooked then. Excellent. Did you get hooked because you're a catch, or...? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, so, that's quite good. Would you two go on a second date? Um, I would if you would. If not, it's... Um... Uh... 
Okay. So I had a well, lovely evening with you. Yes, had a good definitely. Life. Yeah. How about yourself? It was so much fun. Thank you so much. No worries. Definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Awesome. Yeah.